Hello. I, I don't know why I typed it out. I got myself a couple of pictures of the Warriors of Light. It's the same dude. Ready? Okay, no, I, I, don't, I don't want that echo on. You are welcome to leave if you have better things to be doing. That's a that's a weird way of putting it. I didn't mean to sound like that. Uh, what I mean is, I played most. Have I played most of this game by myself? It's it's not the most uh, like da -da 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 exciting games of excitingness type game. Um, <laughs> I know. <laughs> what I meant to say is, I'm about to fight the final boss, and it's very it's it's, it's supremely exciting. Well, let's do an introduction. Uh, I don't know if I'm putting this on the internet, but hello, I'm John Proxy. Welcome to the proximity. And welcome to the live, live on the internet. This is Final Fantasy. I'm about to be, be, win, about to win the Final Fantasy. It's the first one. It's, uh, it's terribly ironic, everyone. Uh, everyone already noticed that about 35 years ago. Uh, let's load my game. So, I know which one's the latest one because I change the color scheme every time. Because I've collected the four crystals, each one representing an element. The element of fire, the uh, element of... Ooh, I'm against someone. The element of uh, wind, the element of water, and the element of earth. So I, I, I've made my screens those four colours. Uh, and what the game did, as a surprise, it went, Ha ha! There's a plot! You didn't expect there to be a plot. Ooh, vampires. Let's run away from the vampires. Dr. Dave is the guy who keeps saying that acid is good for your skin in our quote-unquote Peloton stream. Oh no, now I've said that on record on the internet. Shouldn't have said that out loud. Uh, am I going down or am I going up? Right. I'll have to edit it out. So, I'm going to explain the entire plot. It's not going to take very long. Uh, but just in case anyone joins me, I'll, I'll, I'll edit it out. I, I probably can edit it out, actually. Uh, what I should have done is just not said the name. Uh, right. Before I get in trouble. Yes. So, the very, 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 very start of the game, they were like, Ah, the weather's shit. C the crystals are dying. And that means the earth and the fire and the water and the wind. They've all done terrible things and disasters are happening. All across the world. Uh, uh, and the king's like, we need some people to sort this out. We need the warriors of light. Are you the warriors of light? And we're like, we've got some crystals. And the king was like, oh, that, you must be. I mean, who else but the warriors of light would have those crystals? Right then, go save the world. Before you save the world, uh, all, my, my daughter's been kidnapped by a knight. Could you do that? And if you do that, uh, we'll fix that bridge. Because you'll need that, won't you? And I, 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 I'm all like, could you could you fix the bridge anyway? Shouldn't you just fix the bridge regardless? And also, you know, it might take me time to go all the way up to the Chaos Shrine and all the way back down again. Get started on it. By the time it's done, I'll be back with your daughter. Anyway, he doesn't do that. So I go I go beat up Garland. Uh, he was pretty easy. I just sort of bopped him on the head and he died. Uh, I rescued Princess... Sarah? I'm pretty sure it is Sarah. Uh, Garland actually said, uh, I will knock you down. Very famous line. Hang on, let me put Garland on the screen very quickly. There he is. I need to get rid of this boy of the light. There he is. He's, he's, he's right there. Oh, what was that? I just moved. He's... And there's probably an easier way of doing this. Oh, there are randoms. Hello! There's Garland right there on the screen. Uh, he, He's... Uh, I can't indicate it now because I'm not on the screen. Let's put this back down where it belongs. Anyway, there's Garland. We're going to remove him. Uh, and put back... That guy. That guy. Would have... No, I like the sword one. Put the sword one back on. Anyway, so I beat him up. Uh, I, I bring, the, bring the princess back to the castle. King's like, lovely jubbly. Uh, pretty happy about that. And the princess gives me a... A, a, a loot. A loot? Loot. Now, I'm not going to explain the entire rest of the story, because the entire rest of the story is me going around the world trying to find random items for other people. Occasionally, I will find a fiend, I'll defeat the fiend, and I'll heal the crystal, which is why I've rescued those four crystals, and I've come back to the Chaos Shrine, 
turns out this is I've gone back in time 2,000 years so as it happens this guy's about to explain I think uh, but I'm not gonna actually hang on let me run to him I'll let him explain as well because uh, why not there's no enemies in this room there's Garland somehow he's alive I definitely did kill him do you remember me I was once known as a knight of Cornelia Two thousand years ago, from now, you killed me. I am Garland. Very pretty name. Uh, oh, you did defeat me then. Uh, but the four great forces saved me by sending me back through time. So, but, like, I'm not kidding. There's been no plot, basically, up until then. Okay, no, I tell a lie. There was... There was an ancient village full of people whose language I couldn't understand. And then when I could understand them, they're like, Oh, we tried to defeat the, the baddie, but we failed. And that's the rest of the story. Once here, I sent the four fiends into the future. Where they shall once again use the four great forces to send me into the past. In 2000 years, I will remember none of this. So just so we're absolutely clear here, well, the plot is, somehow, but I will be reborn again here. So even as you die again and again, I shall return, born again into this endless circle that I have created. So this is chaos. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not keen on his telly, his belly button snake head. Uh, but I do like his music. Anyway, uh, so just to clarify, the plot is that I, I, a, a knight kidnapped a princess. We killed him, but at the very last second, four monsters saved him and sent him back in time. While he was back in time, he met the original monsters and sent them forwards in time so they could do send him back. And we are... The, the implication is we've actually been trapped in an endless loop. Um, it doesn't quite make sense. But I'll be honest, the entire rest of this game is kind of generic Dungeons and Dragons. Like, I just found out... I was looking for the bestiary, which I'm gonna... I'm actually... I'm afraid I'm gonna quit the game. For reasons. Not just to show you the bestiary. Uh, that's just a bonus. Uh... I can't quite fight him. I, I spent 30 minutes fighting him yesterday, and he, he, he won. He won that fight. So I'm going to load the game again. I just wanted to show what he looked like. Uh, if we look for the bestiary, which I have to do by holding select an X. So all of these, like, like some of these are very, very kind of... Oh, there's the original Garland. Gets his own music. Anyway, these are kind of all generic D&D &D monsters, right? Apart from the Sahagan, I was like, because they're in all of them. But actually, turns out, no, that is a Dungeons and Dragons monster. As is. Uh, and another one that surprised me. Obviously, this is. That's a Mind Flare. Uh, I don't know about that one, actually. I'm going to assume they are, because literally everything else is. Oh, I've not seen 43. Uh, obviously, the Oka Jelly is um, the, uh, the cube, the Gelatinous Cube. What am I looking for? I'm looking for... Uh, and obviously, um, Dungeons and Dragons didn't invent, like, the Sphinx. The Ochu. Like, an Ochu is a monster I know from all the future games. So I was like, oh, yeah, there's a, there's one of my one of my favourites, one of the famous... Nope, that's a Dungeons and Dragons monster. It's an interpretation, but it is a Dungeons and Dragons monster. So, this is one of the reasons I went back to play this game, is because I was just kind of really curious about a lot of this stuff. Why is this one gold? Maybe I just fought a lot of him? Ah, it's probably because it's a creature I can't run away from. Anyway. Despite the fact that this is eight floors, I have to leave the shrine and do this entire dungeon again. Luckily, Flo does have a spell that will help me do this. And I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up a map. When I come back to the Chaos Shrine, I'm just gonna follow a map. What I'm doing is I wanna go back to all the shops. Specifically, I want a spell called Healer. 
Uh, it's not going to be in the first shot, but I'll check it out in your camp park guy, John. And I guess it makes a nice round trip. Now, there are secret dungeons that I haven't done yet as well. We may as well sleep while we're here. I have all the money in the world as well. My fast forward button. So what I'm attempting to do is just run the final bar dungeon again. Slightly better stuff. Uh, okay. They are unlikely... Okay, here it is. This teapot store. Uh, I'm going to stock up on 100 potions. It, they will come in handy. Uh, I, I don't really need stuff. Like, I'm just... I, I could buy my own kingdom after this. Uh, I, I, I don't think I ever use the sleeping bags. Okay. What I'm actually looking for is the magic shop. That's not the magic shop, and I hate... The, the, <laughs> one of the things I don't like about the game is that you can accidentally walk off the screen. Uh... And it wouldn't be so bad if there wasn't sneaky corners of some of the places. That's a church, John. There it is. We just want to make sure we have the best spells. Now, these ones probably aren't terribly useful now that I'm thinking about it, but... But I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's, it, I should have started with the highest level ones and worked my way down. But again, it's kind of a nice tour of the entire game. Okay, they both need focus. And he doesn't have focus? Oh, no, no, no. There's a higher level focus, I think. Is there? Hang on. What does it do? No. I'm not thinking of focus. Okay, cool. That's the first village ever. The other thing this game could have really done with, and again, this is a 35-year-old game. I'm not saying they should change. <laughs> you know, they shouldn't. They didn't know because those games didn't exist before. Again, I'm like. But, um, it's really difficult to remember the different villages. Outside of the first few, because none of them have gimmicks. Like the gimmick of this village is there just happens to be a pirate here. But I'm just gonna do a quick talk. And and yeah, there you are. It's called Bick. Is that myself a change of art? Yes. Um. Uh. I mean, I could buy some eye. Oh, I want full leathers. There we go. That's super important. Um, that's basically it from those teapot stores. Are. I think this is my favourite. No, it's not my favourite town because it's a pain in the ass to go through. But I do know where everything is vaguely. Who are you? He fled from Melmond. So one of the things I really wish I did better going through the game is... While the, there isn't really a plot, it's paper thin, it really is. Oh no, there's a, a monster killed our people. And then you go kill the monster and they're like, yeah, you did that. But um, you have to just talk to everyone. It isn't like Tales of Symphonia, where literally the plot doesn't move unless you find the right person. But I don't know if that's better or worse. No, that's still worse. But like, you, will know, you won't know what to do unless you just talk to everyone. And, like, I've had to just look up guides, because occasionally I just have no idea what to do. Okay. What do I have? Temper. Okay, that's the most important one. I've got it on both. Slow might come in handy. Yes, I think I'd want to get rid of something and keep slow instead. I don't think I'd use slow, but... No, no, I've got slower. It's fine. It's fine. Probably I didn't need to come to these first villages. Right. Where's the white store? Get out my way! Also, for like about eight hours of the game, two of the characters only had the attack move, and it just got a lot of interesting. Like, they're rubbish at spells, the first two people, but like, it's nice that I have the option now. Okay, what I want is a version of Null. Like, is he... He is a loud null shock. Okay, so this is actually one I might want. So, we don't need... We're never going to use silence. I'm going to get him null shock. Cool. Alright, what's our third town? Can I use the magic exit? No. Yes! That's cool! 
sometimes some, this game does really neat things. Uh, right, what did I do after this? I swam! I found the elf village, didn't I? Okay. Did I? Yeah, it was down here. Look at the map, John. Here it is. Elfheim. Vincent is welcome, thank you. All right. There's also this girl here who hasn't done anything. She was like, oh, when the time comes. That's sometimes a good game. Yes. When the time comes, I'll have an important thing to say. By the power of the Leverstone, a great sail rises into the sky from the sands. Oh, okay. So, yeah. This is an example of a character that told me a piece of information. I had no idea. I found the Leverstone, and I had no idea what it was. And I randomly went to a place, and they're like, hey, you got an airship now. And I had no idea what connected those two. Because I was just like, if I could find a dungeon, I'd do the dungeon. There. So, But apparently, this is the character I needed to talk to for the context of that. And I'm, I'm being somewhat forgiving because, again, it's a 35-year-old game. But also, they've read stories before. They know, they know how stories are written. Look how... Uh... Hmm. Don't think I need it. Okay. It's the white spells that are going to be more useful. Okay, Null Blaze. Yeah, we're definitely going to... Hmm. Heal. No, she, she's going to want all the heals. It's fine. He's got Null Blaze. It's fine. Okay, cool. This town, for ages, I had no idea there was second shops. Just sneakily up here. Okay, no frost. She does have that. And Vox. Fear. Don't really need fear. Cool. Uh, yeah, knight, knights don't get that. I'll take the black one. Okay, haste. Hey, okay, ninja needs haste. Uh, yeah, we're never going to confuse anyone. Because haste is going to be super useful. Lovely. Okay. Probably don't need to save it. Alright. What's on next? The ogre ran away! <laughs> I've never seen a creature run away. I really wish I didn't fast forward that. Good for you, ogre. Okay, I think Crescent Isle was the next one. That's a volcano, John. Well, no. Check the teapot as well. Just in case. Oh, high potions. Yes, we want full high potions. Lovely. No, we don't need tents. So in future games, they'll have save points and you can use tents on save points. Making tents viable. In this one, you can only use them outside. So if you go into a dungeon that happens to be eight floors deep, good luck. Uh, anyway. Not that. level 6. Did we miss level 5? Where's level 5? Okay, I probably have the best combination. I need to find level 5 though. Yeah, it definitely is never going to work. Okay. I know where 7 and 8 are. I've just got to figure out where 5 is. Okay. 
because I think five might be the important one. Okay, well, look at the map. The dwarves? I don't remember the dwarves having... Because they all have places to sleep. Gaia? No, Gaia is level seven. Oh dear. You know what? Let's just look on the internet. Final Fantasy 1, where do I get level 5 spells? Melmond. Okay. Lovely. Let's make our way to Melmond then. I did a pretty good job of remembering the rest of them though. Melmond. John, you're about a second out of sync. Don't sing. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember now. That actually does make I sailed out of there. Make? It makes sense, is what I meant to say. Melmond. That's Provoker! Oh, I remember Melmond. It's not doing too well. Arguably should be the most memorable place. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. No, this one's super important. Okay. Is this level five? Yes, it is. Magic. What are we getting rid of? Invisra. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Yes. No, it's level five, John. Okay. Back. Yes. No, it's... What? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, they're all good. I can see why I was... Uh... No, I don't need life anymore. I have full life! I mean, I don't need Diaga either, but I kind of like having it. And life is a liability at this point. I'm going to discard life. We're going to take Hialara. It's going to super come in handy. Lovely. Cool. Now let's go to the final places. What I want is I want a spell called Null something. Hang on, where the hell do I get it? I would have bought them. Ah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Final Fantasy. I'm not above just looking up things now. One. Spells. Okay, I need a better one. <laughs> what am I looking for? I'm looking for a specific thing. A null spell, basically. It, it, it's a defensive spell I'm going to need against the boss. Also, where the hell do I get holy? Yeah, wall. That's what it might be called wall in this game. Where, where, where do I get them? Hmm. Wall, wall, wall. Okay, Final Fantasy 1. Where do I get spells? Hmm. I need it to tell me where they are. Because most of them are in the shops. 
I do like that some of the spells can randomly be cast for free, which is something I didn't know until right at the end of the game. Come on. Oh, wow. I had no idea. Okay, cool. There are some spells I'm missing. Level 7. Well, I just... I never would have figured this out. Right, we are going to a place called Onrak. Let's look at that. Oh, fuck. I hate Onrak. So this is on rack. So this is like the first place. So I get I get myself a flying ship. I'm like, yeah, flying ship. I can go to new places like this place. Of course, you can't land there. Uh, you can't land on forest either. Can't land that bit of the forest. No, no, can't land there. Can't you can't? You... Oh no, on rack's not so bad. That's another town I'm thinking of. Ah, oh, it's still a it's still cheeky as fuck. But uh, no, I'm thinking of um. It doesn't matter what town I'm thinking of. Anyway, there's, basically, there's a town somewhere which requires me to land my ship like half an hour away. And I resent its very existence. I'm not attacking Sabertooth. They've done nothing to me. Oh, well, there's the Ocho. Cool. On rack. Did I just miss the existence of these shops? <gasps> Hilaga. Cool. That's what I. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I don't think anything's going to cast death against me. Um. Awesome. Hilaga is going to be amazing. What's this? Is this gonna give me? Ooh, I want, I want. I'm not gonna be able to blind. Saber, cool. Cancels attack and accuracy. Let me have a look at his spells. Because I've been using temper. Ooh, but now we can use. Why does he only have two level fives? Hmm. Either way, we have ourselves some new spells, which I, I appreciate the heck out of. We can exit this town. I'm going to look at the guide again. Uh, all level 8 spells are sold. Oh, and Gaia. Oh, I managed to miss that as well. Okay. Let's go to Gaia. I know where Gaia is. Yeah, it's Lufinia is a place that I resent the heck out of going to. Oi! Well, I do enjoy the little dance they do. Didn't really want to attack anyone. That's Thor's hammer she's got right there. Not Molnir. It's called Thor's hammer in this game. I also found out... So in the Game Boy version, all the names are slightly different because they couldn't fit them on the screen. My favourite... There was a faster way of doing that, John. Crazy Horse! Which in the original GBA version, not in the GBA version, but not the original, I mean, but in the GBA version was called Mad Pony with no spaces. And that's my favourite creature villain name. I don't even want to attack Mad Pony. Okay, that's. No cats! I know what guy is. Oh, 
I spent quite a lot of time legitimately being lost in this game. How long have I been streaming for? Half an hour. Okay. This might not bode well for completing the game in two hours, but... Okay, do you have... Okay, so you have a cheeky bastard secret store like the other towns. It's this goddamn game. No! Stop making me live in town! No, I know where it is. It's going to be over here. There's the store. I know the sky people have met them. Cottages. Where is your secret? St there it is. I'm so bad at finding. I oh, know that's a, that's a church, but it is. Why is there a pirate here? Hello, pirate. Oh, he caught the ferry. Oh, well, that was a plot point that took me ages to find as well. Because some of these towns have secret areas like this, and I guess don't leave me out. Of the There's the ferry. Hello, ferry. How are you? Oh. She let me go underwater. Okay, I'm just gonna look it up. Level 8 spells guy. That's gonna be like 100 games. Okay. Secret shop. No, no, yeah. I know about full life and flare. I've got that. Top right? He said top right. And it, there is literally a top right. You know, that's where it literally was, but I'll go again. Maybe. That leads me out the top. Where? No, I'm gonna look better. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know it exists. Tell me where it is in the map. Okay, this one. Hopefully, it won't take too long. But yeah, it's like a double building. Right? So I can't be the only person who didn't find this shop. Level 8. Magic shop. I'm not finding my... One in the forest area. I mean, that's where I keep checking. I'll check one more time. It's going to be up somewhere up there. So yeah, that's why I really hate it that they make you exit the town. Sure had ideas, these folk. That's going to exit the town, isn't it? I should check. Yes, okay. Oh! 
This is it. I found it. What? Or is that the level? <gasps> no, it is. Holy. Okay, I need all these. There we go. She can do attacks now. Yay. Null all is also going to be super useful. Oh. I don't even think I need to level up my characters. Uh, stop. Warp. Huh. And kill. We'll do stop and warp. I don't kill's gonna... What's the difference between kill and death? Lovely. Let's save our game. We are going to now... Go to... No, no, we... Hang on. Yes, we're gonna do the final dungeon. All the villains have been killed in there. So I'm just gonna beeline it to the boss. Which may involve running away... Or killing a lot of enemies. Whichever I think is faster. Uh, and I'm actually going to use maps. Because it's a pain in the ass otherwise. Uh, right. It is. The place we started. Maybe I should look. There we go, there's the Chaos Shrine. Hello, goblins. How dare you? Temerity. Hi, goblins. There's a secret dungeon in here, and there's four secret dungeons added. Four dungeons were added in the uh, Game Boy version, was it? And then one extra dungeon was added to this. I'm not going to do them just yet. I might revisit them. I'm trying to play for all the Final Fantasies. So these bats here. They were people. They were turned into bats. Uh, I, I don't know how to turn them back. Hopefully that's a thing that happens at the end of the game. Maybe. Right. Uh, Shrine of Chaos map. Now, I wouldn't normally wouldn't look at the map. But like literally there's no rhyme or reason to these, to these areas. And... It's super frustrating. <laughs> That's great. I'm just going to use a map. I mean, I've already done the dungeon, so. But I also looked at the map on dungeon. Basically, if you look at the maps, they look kind of cool. I they were drawn to look cool on a piece of paper rather than being able to logically pathfind. I'm just trying to find where they put the exit. It's at the top right, because why not? Why wouldn't it be in the top right for no reason? How do I get to the top right? Uh, I don't know. Hang on. Oh no, there's an exit. There's four exits in this one. We're going downwards? Is there an up? Interesting. Uh, I think I... I'm going to go just bottom left and see. I hope that's the right one. I'm just going to lazily... Fast forward for the battle. Oh, this is B1, but is it the correct B1? I'm going to assume it's the correct B1. Oh, hang on. Oh, so I'm probably missing a bunch of chests. Whatever, I'm... We're trying to go down, up. B1. Right. Where is the next floor? Ah, okay. So I'm studying the map. Oh, hang on. That's the way I came in. Cool. How do I exit this room? I don't think I can exit this room. What a cheeky bastard room. This is a huge room, by the way. It's not this way. I have to get here by a different method, presumably. Uh, another downward step. How do I get up there? I can't tell. I mean, it's going to help a bit. Oh, uh, you know what? It's not conveyed very well. 
on the map. Now I want to see what Holy in action. Let's see what Holy looks like. They are white dragons. Holy is probably the worst thing to use, but I think they're ice dragons rather than holy dragons. Cool. I'm leveled up. Okay, I figured out where to go. We have to go up and then back down. It's going to be one of those bastards. Uh, which means I'm going to the wrong place. Uh, <laughs> so these purple worms, they're supposed to have like, like drool coming out their mouth. But it looks like somebody's sort of crying and it's tears coming out their eyes and like running away. Uh, anyway. So I don't want to fight them, because they look upset to me. The flap-jawed... Oh, never mind, I'm just going to kill them, because they won't let me run away. The flap-jawed purple worm eater? The reference I can't quite remember. Okay, we're going... South? We're going to the bottom right. Yeah, it's fair to say that fast-forwarding for the battles like this is not the intended experience. But also, I've genuinely tried to run away from battles, so I'm not overpowered. And um, I'm overpowered apart from until I hit the boss, and then I'm suddenly not. Uh, which is, isn't a great sign. Okay, yes. Now we're on 2F. So it's going to make me go up before we go down, because it's that kind of game. Where are we? Uh, We are... Hang on. Is it, as, is it as simple as that? I think it might be. Okay. Leave me alone, dogs. Ooh, also, I should definitely, definitely, definitely heal. Um, Because it would be very embarrassing if I died right now. Let's test out my heal lagger. And, uh... Use some fire agar. I mean, Zest isn't going to die. But Saber's about to. As is Tio. Oh, no, they both survived. And now they're both dead. Okay, cool. Oh, no. Ooh. Yeah. Magic. Well, I can only full life now, but I, actually, I'm just going to use a Phoenix Diamond. Although I do want to see how much healing this heal agar does. So for ages, I only had the heal. And now I've suddenly got heal Ara and heal agar at the same time. So, I didn't see how much that was. Uh, I guess 270. That's pretty good. That That's... That a boss hits for slightly less than that. That could save me. Awesome. Yeah, this. Let's actually save my game. My garish colours. We're not going to save over file 7 because that's me in the Sky Fortress. There's a secret boss that requires uh, a random. a random hit chance. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just do fire agar. It's, it's going to be faster. So this, yeah, this is why I'm using the map because it's going to be a pain in the ass. Okay, we're now at the top of the shrine, which isn't quite where I wanted to be, but is it? Hang on. We have yes. Which room are we in? Ah, yes. Okay, so we're back in a floor we were before. Oh, I see it. They've ordered the maps in such a way that makes sense. Okay, fair enough. Uh, where the hell am I going? Well, that's actually... No, where am I going? This isn't the floor with nothing on. That would be cruel. No. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no of course they wouldn't do that to me. Oops. 
Not that. Black Knights! See you later, Black Knights. I, I have no quarrel with you. Ooh. Oh, yes! So this is a mini boss. Uh, oh, is it going to make me fight the bosses, even though I've definitely already killed them? It's not going to last a turn. Yeah, one experience, one kill. Oh yeah, so... Yeah, okay, that was kind of a plot relevant thing. Uh, 2F, we're back on 2F. Right, now... Now where are we going? I'm so glad I looked at the map. So, th these rooms to the side we were previously in. We had to, we, we went upstairs right here and came back down the middle. The top left. Yeah, so it's this... Oops, uh, I don't think I can run away from zombie dragons. For some reason. Uh, we have Diaja. Probably isn't worth it, but it's nice seeing. One F. Right, we have successfully gotten where we started. Uh, and this one's pretty easy. easy. We have just have to go left. I'm worried it's going to make me fight the bosses again. They're pretty easy, though. And I guess it's not too bad if I level up a couple of times. What's in that room? Uh, I better fight him. Holy! Blair. One of them's a hit. I think it's fair to say that I probably wouldn't have had the patience to complete this game pre-internet. But then at the same time... Well, hang on. We're on B1. You know, I would have had more time on my hands. Wouldn't have had uh, uh, so much work to do. You are... Oh, yes, we are... This is the room I was angry at when I walked in and it was a big-ass room and then I realised I'd had to go all the way around. Um... Where is the way out? Oh, it's... Yeah, I see it. No! Damn it all! You burned it all! I don't know... I'm trying to do Planet of the Apes. Uh, let's run away from the golems. They're golems. They couldn't possibly catch me up. Golem. I think I've done that reference before, but I will take it. No! <gasps> yeah! <laughs> What a cheeky game! So the way this game does bosses is that just like if you step on a square, you're fighting a boss. It doesn't matter if you've beaten the boss. If you step on that square, you're fighting the boss. So his his it's Skeletor. Um, I'm pretty sure I can make quick work of him though. But I obviously didn't mentally prepare. Although I'm not keen on him doing it to me. Oh yes, you can use uh, the anti-dead spell. I forget about that. Yeah, yeah. Because presumably Lich had skin once. So... Although, that's a ripped rope. He's very much out there. Or she. I can't actually tell. I don't think it matters at that point. The Earth rots because of Lich. Oh, they I'll say they. Um, uh, we are going to kill people. Not with you. Uh, let's heal Aga.
Oh, he lag is lovely. Let's uh, Diage, because Lich is undead. Ah, no death by sparkles. Yay! Down you go again. I'm only going to get one experience for it. Oh no, I've got 500 experience, which is still literally nothing, but... So I'm gonna have to do this like B2 every floor now. There's three more fiends. So the fiends, yes, I've already defeated the fiends in the future. But because they haven't come to the future yet, I have to re-beat them and somehow they're stronger. Because time travel makes you slightly weaker. Oh it makes them slightly weaker. It doesn't make me slightly weaker, obviously. I'm, I'm the strongest I've ever been. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea pretty soon. Probably on the hour. That makes sense. Some beverages. Where am I? We want to go all the way around. Oh. Good. I literally were just trying to... Oh, they're different crime worms. Right. The sleeper will awaken. Um... There we go. Oh yes, the Dune film is going to be out at some point. Just so, uh, so the Gygus's design—it kind of looks like he, he, like his legs are too shy to touch the ground. Uh, or, or you know how when you make a sign and you like you start and then you realise, oh no, I. I, I, I would not left room for half the letters, and you just have to write them really small and curved at the end. That's what it looks like. It looks, looks like they started drawing Gygus, then halfway through... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, halfway through they just... Oh no, there's no room for legs. Sorry, I'm going to have to read your comment out loud, so... Uh, yes, they're like... Ooh, ooh, no steppy, please. I had to put a lot of John on that uh, verbiage to... <laughs> to survive it. I'm going to attack him just for that. Very shy legs. Uh, where are we? There we go. So that room is when we came down. And there's Marilith. Snake lady. Four. Six swords. Okay, cool. What am I doing? Oh, this is literally the same thing you always do? Um, you know, I want a bit temper on. No, I'm just going to do the same thing I always do. Yeah, she, she, she's found a thing she likes. Likes her swords. Going to collect all the swords. Happen to have lots of arms. Therefore, lots of arm swords. Sword arms. Holy. There. Yes. This would be a good time for a grievous quote, and I can't remember any grievous quotes. Uh, though, the, like the thing that everyone should think of when they meet grievous is, wait, so anyone can pick up a laser sword? Why aren't we just putting these on robots? Why don't the rabbit, you know, the Roger Roger? Why don't he have give them the swords? And I know the answer is that. Grievous steals the swords and you needed like a special crystal, but none of the films have really explored how you get those crystals. You know what? Haste. So I picked I picked the thief, because this is the canon team for the story. The thief doesn't have a steal ability, it's just like the warrior, but with none of the goodness, none of the stuff. All the items drop for the warrior. Like, it's very clear the warrior is the main character in this game. I mean, there's a reason why he's sitting above me. Also, let's switch it up. I found these on the internet, but they are the official drawings. But some soul has managed to render them uh, in such a way that it was see-through. 
which is uh, so I can change the background. What am I doing? Oh, we are healing. Heal Aga? Does every heal have to be a heal Aga? Yes. Yes, it does. Because I want it to be. What if Marilith is related to Gilgamesh? Oh, he's dying. <laughs> Not the actual Gilgamesh of... Uh... Sumerian. Is it Sumerian? Legend. I mean, Final Fantasy Gilgamesh. Full life. This is why we haste the warrior. I definitely have a hit. Don't I have ta yeah temper temper? Do some hurley. Some flare. Pretty sure she's done for. Cheers. Right. It's pretty much the hour. I think this is a good time to make a cup of tea. I've returned. As was foretold. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm planning on getting a, um, uh, I, <laughs> words, John, professional streamer with his words. Um, I wanted to make another be right back with my, my, my pixel snail, uh, and you know, some actual graphics, but, uh, I hadn't got around to it yet. So I very quickly drew something up in paint. I also want some, like the inst interstitial. Uh, I guess it's more of an intro. You know, the sort of five minute screen you put on before you start the stream. Brian has one of those, right? It's, uh, people are very fond of it. Oh, one of those. Not particular. Not that one, but something. And a video would be nice. Uh, also, yes, I could presumably record a GIF of my game and just put Be Right Back on top of that. Something with movement in. People like movement. Oh no, I made a decision by myself without consulting the map. Uh... B3. Are we on B3? We are on B3. Where are we going? It will genuinely take goddamn ages if we don't take use the map. I don't know where we are on the map. I'm not seeing this reflected. Ah, okay. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Yes. I don't think I can outrun the water elementals. Okay, that I came from those steps. Yes, yes, I'm going downstairs. Cool. That means we're trying to get to the bottom right. Of course, of course we are. Let's make sure we're actually healed up and everything. Uh, we don't need to. I'm using them anyway. Cool. I'm gonna run away this time. Oh, hello, Heisen. Yes, the uh. Oh, thank you, Heisen. Uh, yes, I will ask. Uh, I know I need to get a load of like Steam Lab things set up. People like seeing their words on the screen, right? And like, there's a convenient area right up there where people's words could go on the screen. Uh, so, uh, Heisen is uh, somebody from my brother's streams who uh, sometimes floats across. Okay, I shouldn't have run away twice. As uh, well-spoken, somebody I know in real life. Groups start to bleed together. 
Heisen got to witness me spend half an hour successfully not defeating the boss. Oh, fair enough. I know uh, Luke, or Explody, uh, has a particular program he likes using. Uh, I will look it up at some point. Did I save recently? I'll save again. I did save recently, it looks like. I've only just got started using the scenes function in this game. Because I just figured I probably shouldn't have Final Fantasy be full screen because it's, it's all pixels. And also, I kind of want to keep some of this for posterity. And I don't want to have my face in the shot. Uh, it'll be useful for things like uh, I'm going to be recording Alice. The game called Alice, I forgot what it's called. American McGee's Alice, that's the one. And I don't want my face covering that up either. But I might do it for all the Final Fantasies. I mean, only the newest one needs to be full screen, right? Um, what am I doing? It's a 16. Uh, I'm, I'm being lost on the map. Uh, I believe that actually... No, it's not the way. That's literally a dead end. No, it isn't. Ooh, what are you guys looking at? Haha! <laughs> I think I have to attack these. Oh yeah, I got Excalibur at some point as well. I think I've said it before a couple of times, but uh, they have they have English Excalibur and they have Welsh Excalibur, but never goddamn Cornish Excalibur. I want them to put Cornish Excalibur in one of the games. They don't, because they're a bunch of bastards. Uh, I'd have to check. I don't recognise it. Uh, I'm going to try and say that out loud. C no, I'm not. I don't know how to say that out. <laughs> Clio Sola. I don't recognise it, but I'm not an expert at every single item in the game. But. Cleave Soleil. Ooh. Because I'm curious, I'm going to look it up. Ah, no they don't. It's in Shin Megami Tensei though. Um, and also somebody on the internet has used it as a character in Final Fantasy XIV. So technically, but only because one of them is an online game. Where am I going? Ah, of course, it, yes! I was going to say, that, it rings a bell because of a different reason. Uh, not a Final Fantasy reason. Okay, I need to pause the stream I'm watching with myself because that's just using bandwidth. Where are we, John? We're looking at a map, actually. That's what we're doing. Where are we on the map? We have to go... Up? No, we just came from up. Oh, it's... It's all this windy nonsense. I mean, you might as well do mythology because I've been just running away from battles for the last, I don't know, like 17 years now. Feels like a while. Like, literally the reason I'm playing this game is is because it's computer game mythology. It's one of the things, because this story is so simplistic, it's about saving the four elements. Um, it does like what like what t Zelda does at the start of their games, where they tell a simple story, and it's like the lore, of the the, uh, the legend behind the lore, and it's always like a simple story. And this works like that, because it's, it, but it's a literal story that nobody needs to go back to, because you tell it as legend instead. Uh, no, this doesn't look like the right way. Have I been bamboozled? No, I've just made a mistake. I actually genuinely remember doing this the first time around as well. Uh, there's a character called Sid in all of the games, for some reason. Uh, and he wasn't in this gun, this one. And they've retroactively put him in by saying, Oh yeah, we used to have this old inventor, he was called Sid. Uh, he was really important. And like... <laughs> That, there's Sid. But it's spelled with a C for some reason. 
Apparently he's based on Alcid. And I can't remember which Alcid. I literally looked it up earlier. Uh, yes, John, you're gonna be you're about to fight a boss. Don't run away, John. They're too fast for you. Biggs and Wedge start turning up in the Final Fantasies as well. But I know what they're from. And I don't think they start turning up till 6. And I know... Speaking of General Grievous, I know Nomura... Nomura? Who uh, wrote Final Fantasy VII uh, and Kingdom Hearts, more importantly. I know he's a fan of Final Fantasy. Because one of the Kingdom Hearts games has the first scene from episode 3. The scene where he goes, do it. Uh, and uh, he chops off, Anakin chops off um, uh, that dude's head off. Darth guy with sword. I, that's not his name. Gl Darth Unpleasant? It's one of those words. Anyway, the the, the, uh, the Emperor fake getting kidnapped to trick his apprentice into doing an evil action is copied Count Dooku, thank you very much. I've forgotten his name and the actor. Christopher Lee. Darth Tyrannus. Yes, Tyrannus. Because they pronounce this slightly differently because they're like haha, they'll never notice what we did. Um, yes. So that Count Dooku scene is in Kingdom Hearts. Uh, what's his name? Um, I've forgotten the baddie from Kingdom Hearts. Zehinot, uh gets kidnapped by one of his 13 dudes of 13, Organization 13 members. And then the guy he tricks into rescuing him is the one he's secretly trying to take the body over of and turn evil so he can become the evil person from the first Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is nonsense, by the way. <laughs> oh, here's a Kraken. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's that, it's identical. The best thing about that scene, yeah, it's so we can naught someone. Yes. The best thing about that scene is retroactively, the kidnapper is the most important person in the scene. Because Nomura likes to do, um, ah, but all along, he knew secret things all along. Uh, and it just, <laughs> that scene makes no sense anymore. Because that guy, the, the, uh, the Christopher Lee character... Like, secretly, he's the secret, super, super, secret villain who was even more villainous than the other villain. But somehow just went along with all this. I forgot his name now. <gasps> See you, Eisen. Oh, and that guy has a great line. Uh, I forgot his name now. He says, Oh, but you see, I'm already half Xehanort. And I legitimately burst out laughing. That was on the PS, but no, the the uh, 3DS. Like the game of what am I doing? Just attacking. Um, this is a boss, John. I got too into how funny Kingdom Hearts is unintentionally. Uh, I'll be fine. It's only cracking, but definitely shouldn't have just randomly attacked. See, Eisen. Yeah, I'm gonna. I at one point I want to make some videos doing the story, and I know there's loads of that, but there's too many people trying to connect all the stories when you just have to accept that they don't make any sense and have fun with that. There's a couple of people who do that as well, but I want to do it as well because it's just and the same thing with Saw. The Saw continuity doesn't make any sense. Like that guy had like a year to live and somehow did. <laughs> somehow did so much murdering in that time and had like 12 secret apprentices each one secret from the other secret apprentices actually Kingdom Hearts and Saw is quite similar in certain regards now that I think about it oh yeah I have plans uh, you know black holes pits I'm going to be, um, hopefully, making an abridged version of this game to explain the storyline. I've been writing a script. That was a nice attack. That's why I, uh, 
The thief's a bit rubbish, the ninja. But if he uses those two spells on the warrior, you know, that means my uh, my mage doesn't have to waste his time. Uh, some eye drops, I guess. You can heal Aga. And of course, I have to do that with um, what what's it called? Uh, Metal Gear. But those are reasonably serious. Liquid. My brother's much better at doing the voices than I am. But Colonel, how do I know which mo moisturizer to use? Uh, it's even worse in King. Um, oh God, what's it called? Use just use the item jump. Metal Gear Solid, where when he's an old man, so he has to do the, the voice even harder. So the game starts off with saying, "Control, situational control." No, I can't do that voice for too long because my throat will help me. Where's my cup of tea? Though the funniest one, so every time you die in Metal Gear Solid, somebody on your phone, your codec, will go, Snake? Snake? Snake! But in Metal Gear Solid 2, you're, you're playing as Raiden, and the colonel will phone you up and he'll go, Raiden! Like his tea's ready? It's just, it's just wonderful. I learn, and as soon as you hear it like that, you can't unhear that. It's like, no, Colonel, you can't come to tea. He's dead. Those are weird games. Metal Gear. Meryl. Uh, B4. Okay. Ooh, did I get that chest? Okay. It's a little bit cheeky that I'm... Ooh, hello vampires! I love that it's just randomly vampires in this game. For the first time I fought Lich, you just had to fight Vampire. He was just called Vampire. And he was like, Ha-ha! I'm going to attack you now! That's my Transylvanian, Transylvanian accent. Um, I, I'm not going to attempt a better one because it will be a worse one. And I know that's sort of feature, but still. Uh, but yes, just a vampire turns up. But no, it turns out, yeah, there were mummies. There were enemies called mummy kings. And you'd be like, well, surely you're pharaohs. Are there mummy kings? And yes, I appreciate that what a mummy is, is just a way of preserving a body. That there was some, you know, it's a zombie. With... A, I guess a preserved body, I guess. How come there have been no mummy zombie films? Like, it's always magical mu mu mummy, you know, it's, they're cursed mummies. But it's never, like, mummies woken by a zombie curse. But in computer games, like... They'll go, oh, if we have zombies, we get mummies. They're, they're, they come together. They're a package deal. And skeletons. Which, again, a skeleton should be weaker than a zombie. You, Jeff Knight, in a nightmare. It's a knightmare. I'm just trying to find the, remember the quote. Ooh, nasty. There you go. Anyone who's above 34 knows what I just referenced there. Masamune! Cool, I didn't have that. That's because I had the map open and I was like, Ooh, I've not been to that area. That's got to be for you, surely. Yeah! So I think it's Masamune and not Masamune. Uh, and what everyone... I didn't even know it was in Final Fantasy 1. Was it always in Final Fantasy? Everyone knows Masamune from Final Fantasy 7 because it's Sephiroth's sword. Hang on, where are the villains? Let me turn off this. Uh, 
you'll be on this screen. Right, you, you, you go away quickly. Not you. Ah! I'm filling around with this screen. Okay. There he is. Oh, I don't know why I just moved then. He's right there. Ow, he's... You can't see my cursor anymore. I put him in the middle of the screen. And he doesn't have his sword on, apparently. But his sword's like... It's it's really long. It's a really long sword. Um, what What's his name? Bloody F Floyd... Floyd? Freud would be proud. Um, anyway. Ah, I moved him. You go back there, please, buddy. Cool. Um, oh, we still have two viewers. Uh, did I see him again? I think I did. I think we're almost there now. Which is good. Because I've got... 40 minutes to complete it. And now my ninja's slightly stronger. But not before we attack these air elementals. So Kraken was the final fiend. I dare say... They do a slightly better job at these, uh, you know, final areas later on. But again, all learning. Yeah, they're learning as well. So one game I should play. So I'm, I'm planning on playing all the Final Fantasies, right? Or capital A or capital F, capital F, capital T. Um, I'll try it for once. And that's going to include some of the random side games because. Kind of the weirder you get with it, the more fun. Don't save, you just saved. Um, but I should probably consider playing Dragon Quest. Because it's... What Dra Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy 1 are both riffs on... Not Dungeons and Dragons, but the computer games in the West that Dungeons and Dragons inspired. Oh, yes, I forgot Tiamat. That's probably why I was... Anyway, he's a big dragon boy. Is he a dragon? He's something. I would test out my... Uh, sword, but he's still probably better off just making that guy stronger. We've got Holy now, though. You know what? I'm kind of glad we got to fight these guys again. Of course he is. I gave Tiamat a pass because Tiamat's like a famous name pre Dungeons and Dragons as well. She. Oh. Huh. Did you know that? Because I know Final Fantasy takes a lot of stuff from, you know, real life religions and stuff. I think most, most famously, they, they just, they were like, Shiva's a cool name, but we think Shiva should be a nice lady instead of the God of Destruction, with many arms being blue. Well, they kept the blue, I guess. Um, um, Alright, sorry, I just forgot what I was doing. It's because Temper's there. Temper! Never holy. I, uh, I always find it kind of amusing. Oh, I didn't know Gygax was a van. That kind of makes sense, though. Like, I think everyone's agreed that, yeah. That paladins are just massively problematic, just in general. They've always been terrible to roleplay with. Like, even 15 years ago, like, the rule was... You don't get to play as a paladin, for the same reason you can't play as a corn because Blood for the Blood God gets quite old if he's in your RPG group. You can't have the lawful good guy on your on your side. I saw on Twitter somebody made um, a paladin, but instead of being like for like holy paladin, um, it was um, 
He was like a capitalist. He was a free market paladin. And uh, you can imagine how the internet... But like... I thought it wasn't a bad idea. Like, as long as you acknowledge that that's not a good thing, you make... So instead of... You take away paladin from lawful good, which is a terrible idea anyway. But instead of doing that, you make them take an oath according to their politics and make sure the player understands that that's not a universal truth. Like, he's, he can be free market if he wants, but like, that's not the truth of the world. <laughs> that's just an insane guy with a sword. But yeah, I mean, I've been watching Vampire the Masquerade, which hasn't aged very well, by the way. Um, and it's it's a lot of things which is like, there's some good ideas there, and there's some terrible, terrible problematic things in there. I should be healing. Also, Vampire's kind of edgelordy, but... You know, Sabo deserves to get him attacking. Uh, let's heal up. Oh, yeah, he, he, we can't all be killed. Or Saber. Oh, we'll do full life. So in later games, when you select life or or heal, it's gonna automatically go to the correct person. Uh, in the same way that Persona was like, if you know their weakness, the spell's gonna choose. It's gonna automatically do the spell that it's weak against. Because that's not a decision you're making, is it? You're just going through the menu. You've already made the decision to learn the weakness, uh, and every game needs to copy that. Oh shit! I need to be paying more attention. I'll be fine. As long as this guy's still... Yeah. But no, Deo doesn't get to level up. 666. Six, six. I saw that. Uh, right. I think we have one more floor. Oh, crap. We've only got half an hour. Uh, also, I could have just used the Phoenix down then. Get those ethers out. Make sure we're saved. I don't know why I didn't save on 10. Oh, yes. And here we are. This is how we started the episode. And I shan't read his words again. Because I did it last time. You remember me? I was once the, known as a Knight of Cornelia. 2,000 years from now, you killed me. I am Garland. Oh, you did defeat me then. But the four great forces saved me by sending me back through time. Once here, I sent the four fiends into the future. Where they shall once again use the four great forces to send me into the past. In 2,000 years, I will remember none of this. But I will be reborn again here. So even as you die again and again, I shall return. Born again into this endless circle that I have created. There we go. There's his canon voice. Alright, I am not going to make use of this screen for save scumming, because that's like my one rule. It's no fun, but I but I do want to save it at the start of the battle. Okay. Just going to let the music kick in for a second. Drink some tea. Lovely. Do you think the knee faces and the belly button snake face communicate with, you, with each other? Or are they just like skeletons? Okay. 
He does have magic as well, but like... Attack. You! You're gonna haste him. And share gossip. Yeah, yeah they do. That makes... Okay, we're gonna use Null All. Reduce damage from spells by half. Oh, it's gotta be done on each individual person. Of course it has. Ah. Uh, okay. Blow first then. Sorry, I forgot which one he did. Okay, you attack. You haste. You null. And you temper. Well, not temper. What's it called? It's called something else. Saber. Yes. Oh, it can only be done on him. Well, I'll do that later at some point. Fine, temper. Temper it is. You're going to attack. You are going to use a high potion on yourself because I'm not wasting her turn for the time being. You are going to null zest. You are going to saber yourself. Could be better, could be better. You're going to attack. You are going to high potion... Yourself? Yourself. You are going to null all on today. You are finally able to flare. Oh, he's dead. You're going to attack. You are going to fall life. You are going to flare. Yeah, that's fine. And there's two angels. Oh, Pax Punch. Okay, Zest is actually genuinely in danger now. Attack. High potion on you. Um, Hilaga. And another flare. Cool. Attack. You are going to haste yourself, finally. You are going to heal aggro again, I think? No. What are you going to do? A terror? Enough. I'll temper. There we go. That's the one thing I'm going to do for t Saber. I wish I could tell what stuff they had on them. I'm just having to memorise it all. I have no idea if it falls off at some point. Okay, attack. Let's use a high potion. He's going to do... I should put the evasion up. Yeah, it's going to be a potion though. He's really close to death. White robe to put Invisor on everyone. I don't think it helps, but you are going to slow is probably not going to work. Cool, that was a fast one. I want to use Holy. 
Okay, blaze it. 420. I know the memes. Attack. My potion on myself. Heal Agger. God, this is so much easier with Heal Agger. Uh, flare and hope nobody dies. Oh god, Sober's dead. A fucking Zest's dead! Okay. Full life on Zest. And then... Haste on Zest. Right. He's gonna go it's all Zesty. Like the best... He's the best at Zest. Because the zest don't mess. I, uh, okay, I'm gonna have some thoughts. He's been hasted, he needs to be tempered. I think everyone can survive a hit. Full life. Also, there's no null anymore. You attack. You have to high potion this uh, flow, because if she dies, everything's over. I need to null all on you. So he's going to heal at some point, and he will heal 9999. So if I haven't done that amount of damage, all is lost, basically. Ah! Attack. You're gonna haste yourself. You need to null all him. And I'm gonna take a risk. I'm just gonna. Ooh. You need to be tempered. I guess he doesn't have Patera on anymore, but I'm going to heal everyone first, I think. I'm going to do a holy, screw it. We only live once. I mean, she wouldn't have been able to save him anyway. Items, high potion, on flow, you're going to fall life, him, and you are going to haste, always haste, oh no, she's, she's got, she slowed, Attack. You are going to temper him. I'm going to heal Aga. I just, I have to keep pumping out damage. I'm better, doing better than I was before.
clack. Uh, we're going to throw an elixir on you. Maybe we wait. For, we, we can wait around or two before we do that. Is him in tempered? I'm gonna heal Agar again. You should probably put. That shouldn't be. Shouldn't be too bad. So you can tell when they're hasted because they do like 16 attacks. Okay, he's gonna now throw an elixir on her. No, 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 a dry ether. On to flow. You are gonna put Terra. You. Yeah, another flare. Love ourselves some flares. So I have chance he's going to die now, but I am going to... Everyone's doing quite well, actually. Oh no, don't... Hmm. What happens if I haste? Mage. No, 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 John, the reason you heal Agar is because if someone else gets hit, it will help them as well. You're not going to be able to save him from death if he's first hit. Alright, this basically misses every time. I didn't miss then! Now, unfortunately, I'm going to haste her as well. And I'm going to full life. And I'm going to hope. Now nah, I'm just going to use an attack. I'll do it next turn. Oh, nope, he needs an ether anyway. Got full health, but screw it. You now are gonna full health him. You're gonna haste that dead body in hopes that it's alive by the time that happens. I shouldn't kill him. Damn it. Sabu is quite hurt. Right. Haste. Lager. And Temper. I think Sabu might be dead. No! Awesome. Ooh. <laughs> You accidentally unplugged your computer with your boots. So I don't read that aloud. Context for future people. But um, I've, had, I've legitimately... I used to have a computer that had a power button where my big toe would accidentally kick. It was just placed just so. It was very annoying. I've not beaten him yet, so... Uh, we've had some trials. We've had some tribulations. What are we doing? Right, I've got an idea. We're going to high potion him. And 
And I'm going to get to use Holy. Oh, well, we're supposed to use Null Oil first, I guess. Damn it. Puff, 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 puff. I wish I knew how much health he had. I'm gonna do the same again. No, she's gonna need to heal. One day you'll flow. One day you'll get to use Holy again. Yeah, last time I was like, ah, oh, no one ever dies from this, and then Zest died. <gasps> Bloody hell! Should have been using him much longer. Oh, Masamune is amazing. Did I bet on the wrong horse? Okay, everyone is on full health. That means we can use Holy. I'm not putting any more shields on anyone. Attack. Attack. Holy. Flare. We're doing a full damage round. As was foretold. Haha! <laughs> you tried to punch the healer and you missed! Flow is made of stronger stuff, you bastard. I'm not even fast forwarding this round. It's legendary. Full damage round. Neat. Let's do it again. I'll fast forward for your moves. Oh yeah, we're going to need to heal next round. I think we've done over 999 damage, and that's the most important thing. Because at some point he will heal himself. But this is where we're in danger, because we need... I'm hoping this is enough, just her healing once. It's if he does two decent attacks in a row, that's when it gets dangerous. That's not a super strong attack. Saber's going to be almost dead, but not quite. Yeah. <gasps> Saber did it! The guy I didn't let attack for the entire game! He defeated Chaos. Let's put the controller down. I have done it, and I did it 12 minutes before the deadline. Let's sit back. Watch Chaos die? This is a bit weird. We kind of need Chaos for life, right? Wouldn't have a stable universe without Chaos, but whatever. I mean, we'd have a too stable universe without Chaos. Regardless. The time loop was severed at last. The endless struggle that raged over 2,000 years had ended, and peace prevailed once more. Oh, that's it. <laughs> the light of the four crystals restored the forces of wind, water, earth, and fire. And will you remember the day? Never again shall there be a fantasy quite this final. It was a mere trick of fate that had given rise to the chain of Garland's wrath. But magnified by the four forces meant to guide our world, that trick of fate also gave birth to the fiends.
monsters ran rampant and the world sank into darkness. Yeah, mate, this happened at the start of the game. Why are you explaining the plot of the game after I've st stopped all that stuff? I got myself some beer for the end of the game. But now, all that is now past. It's banana beer. With the four forces flowing, as they were meant, the warriors prepared to cross time and return to the world they knew. A world where Princess Sarah, Queen Jane, and even Garland himself await. So yeah, they never explain how the loop starts. So the implication, presumably, is that Garland was corrupted somehow. But like... Anyway, uh, when was this fateful day that sent time spiralling into a loop? It was Thursday. I don't. You, I feel like you don't need quite this much blank space between the uh, stanzas. None can say. Oh, oh I thought I'd know some for a second there. Which is weird because you're quoting me. <laughs> it seemed the cycle into which time had fallen would last forever. But the bravery of four young travellers changed that. They took the forces that filled the world with darkness and used them to bathe the world in light. Which is cool. We all appreciate that. It's nice. Uh... Wasn't doing so well for a bit there. But yeah, it's doing better now. It's doing better. None will ever recall the struggle the four endured. The breaking of the chain means that it never existed. I'm not even talking to you right now. You're not even on a computer. What? What are even words? But within the tales of fantasy that people tell, the memory of their deeds lives on. I like the dot 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 on that one, as if it hasn't been doing that for the entire speech. Tales of dwarfs with an F and elves with dragons and shining civilizations that reached for the havens even as they fell. I know, right? <laughs> Where was this plot during the game? You know, I did it once right after we left the first island, but nowhere else. And now their return is upon us. If we make enough money, we'll make a Final Fantasy too, with the memories of their struggle buried deep in their hearts. They will quietly watch over our world. Now, yeah, you're supposed to put all the plot in the beginning, just all of it, just all the plot somehow. Like every single word, the, no, need to explain what the word the means. Put the plot in the word the. There's at least three letters worth of plot you can put in. Remember that always that the forces of the world must be used as they were intended. That the power of light must never be used for dark. And that the true crystals reside in your heart. And the true crystals were the friends we made along the way. So the funniest plot point in this game is, like, it just never explains who the hell you are. Four people just turn up with crystals. For you are the warrior, presumably, who crossed time. And the thief, and the white wizard, and the black wizard. What's... 
All right, the warrior is blatantly the main character, but still. You are the bringer of light. Or Lucifer, if you prefer. Yay, birds! That presumably means it's about to end. Why is it do not die if it's the end? That's a full stop at that point. <gasps> Lies, it's not final at all. Somehow the logo there is still better than the one I made. Actually, I say somehow. It's like, no, that's made by a professional artist. Right. Just have a little bit of... Ooh, that's cool. I'm just going to sit for the credits, because... I did. They made the game, might as well. Might as well. Sit back. Relax. There's a dragon! This never happened in the game! And the knight basically never looked like that. Even though that's canonically what he looks like. I think there might have been a red dragon in there somewhere, but... He wasn't important. You know what? We did meet Bahumut. He turned me into a knight. He was kind of pleasant, though. He was like, Hey, you've got a rat's tail on you. You got that from a dungeon. Oh, I'm well impressed with that. I'm going to make you into a knight. And that's how that happened. Hang on. So, if I... Okay. I'm go I'll, I'll read them all, but it doesn't need to go at that full speed. I want to listen to the music. Oh, also she. Uh, Bahumut. Hang on, I've had the entire game to listen to the song. That makes sense. Ba you see, in Final Fantasy, they just make them like one good and one evil. Uh, Bahumut and Tiamat, I'm referring to. Uh, no? I'm not getting any information. This is going live. Oh, fair enough. Okay. So, Tiamat's a female, Bahuwit's male. Okay. Uh, when I was younger, I used to think it was Baramut. Uh, I don't know why. I'm just waiting for it to say, and you. I don't know if they do it in old games. So, I can go, and me? So, it's important to pay attention because they're going to remix this song like a hundred times in every single Final Fantasy. Because this is the, uh, not the prologue, because prologue is the uh, arpeggio. This is the stepping into the outside world song, which I forget the name of. Like the literal name of and the thematic name. Also, I've tried fiddling around with the fast forward speeds because I really don't like that screech that happens. And I know that's because, uh, you know why, it's, uh, the bit rate is gone weird, it's not made for it. But like, you'd think there might be a magic number where you could maybe make that slightly less uh, bad on ear. Because I'm trying to get to twice as much information through, through the same amount of time. What game did I play recently? Oh yeah, Demon Souls. At the end of Demon Souls, at the end of the credits, it does the credits for the original game. And I thought that was a really nice touch. I don't know if that's like a thing for all remakes. I've never seen it before. And I watch all the credit screens. Even if it's sometimes fast forwarded. There you go, original style. Boo! No and you! How dare you not thank me for getting this game on a PSP emulator. Betrayed. 
the end. I was hoping it might have stats for like how many times I run away and stuff. Uh, <gasps> yes. I'll put it down the bottom. Cool. Let's load that. I'm not. I'm not going to play anymore. Uh, not this game anyway. Oh, hang on. There's an extra button. What's the extra button do? <gasps> Art gallery. Oh, this is cool. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, that's the one we've got on the screen right now. So it's the same picture. And that's Princess Sarah. You don't mind if I look for all these. Uh, there's a Dry Bones. Hang on. Oh, we're going to have to go through here because it has all the names. Zombie. Princess Sarah again. She just looks like a pixel lady. We never actually got to see her. Why didn't you put these in the game? The Sahagan. So this is... the. This is the one where I'm like, oh wow, Sagan's in the first game. I know them from Seven and in loads of them. Now it's Dungeon Dragons Monster. It's spelled slightly differently, but just shark. I like that. I like that they were like, we want a shark in a game. Artist, could you draw a shark so we have a shark for a reference? And it's like, I feel like you know what a shark looks like. Tarantula. Scorpion. That's going to force me to go back in and get... That's cool. And I can zoom in? It says I can zoom in. Oh, no, hang on. X isn't X. Green slime. Oh, that's cool. Look at his face. Crawler. Gargoyle. Yeah, and he still wants to hug. That's cool. That's basically what it looked like in game. This is presumably how they made all the new art as well. The mummy. Cool. I wish I knew the lyrics to that Anaconda song, but I don't. Manator. Utter bastard. Wouldn't let me run away from... Adding behemoth. Ooh! I, there's, I didn't see the behemoth in this game. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back. Not now. Because that's one of the, like... I know behemoth is a, just a word, but uh, it's one of the ones that's in all of them. Gigas worm. And his legs. His, his legs are doing the thing. The troll. Who, they've all got headaches. I'm going through quite quickly, but... Yeah, there's Lich! Crocodile. There's the Ochu. There's an Ochu again. That's cool. Right, the next 10 minutes is me going, Ooh, that's cool. Oh. This is uh, Hydra, I believe? Yep, okay. That's a Zelodon or whatever it's called. No, it's a Hellhound. A Dragon, one of them. That's Marilith. That's a Mind Flayer or Psycho Demon. That's Atmos or... The darker of yeah, Amos. Who's this? We never battled the dragon. I mean, I guess we did. Death Eye. That's a beholder, buddy. That's funny. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say earlier. Uh, you can't use the word beholder because Dungeons and Dragons are kind of litigious. It's like the one Dungeons and Dragons creature that can't be stolen, apart from clearly. So that's why in Final Fantasy they're always called. Like, Evil Eyes, or, or Aramand, uh, which is a name they've presumably not come up with yet. No, I'm missing a bunch. As prophesized. There we go, there's uh, Garland and Zest. That's apparently what Zest looks like. And a red dragon. That's in the start cutscene. I don't need to look at the cutscene ones. 
And there we go. I'm missing a bunch. What else is... Looking extra. That was the art gallery. Okay, fair enough. I don't think we need to go for all this right now. But I just... Let's have a look at the names. And it's got songs for different ones as well. For some reason. Oh, it's got pictures! Where are the pictures? Okay, so this is the prologue. But we use this song to go back in time. Does it have a prologue as well? Prelude, not prologue. Cool. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm gonna leave everyone for the time being. I'm going to come back with Final Fantasy 2 at some point. Possibly today. I know, I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. I'm going to check offline. Uh, but I'm going to, at the very least, temporarily pause the stream. Uh, so for anyone watching live, or anyone watching the future, farewell. I've been John Fox. Obsessed. I've been having a Final Fantasy adventure. Thank you for watching. We're now leaving the boxing.